Hey everybody, it's Emily from Naptime Creations and today I am going to be making some circle skirts with you. And if you've never made this project, it's a really fun way to make a skirt. And it's also super easy and I'm going to show you kind of two different ways to do that. So um, we're going to get started in just a minute and um, I'm excited to um, make these skirts with you. So uh, if you're just popping on, I'm we're... We're going to be making, um, we're going to be sewing today two circle skirts. So we're going to make one with woven fabric with a wide elastic waistband. And we're going to make another one that has a um, made from knits and has like a yoga waistband. So those are the two different kinds that we're going to be making. And I think they're both going to look great. So we're going to... Um, work on those and I've got the um, fabric here so this is I'm going to make the woven with this one and then here's the elastic that we're going to put on for the waistband and then here's um, the knit that we're going to be using to make the knit skirt with a yoga waistband and there's two different ways that you can make circle skirts well I, there's many ways um, one is called a full circle and then the other one is more like a half circle. And um, we're gonna do one of each, okay? So I've got the, we're gonna do the full circle for my daughter out of this one, and we're gonna do the half circle, which just means it's less full out of this one for me. So if you're just stopping on, I'd love for you to say hi, let me know where you're watching from and maybe what you're up to this evening. Um, and maybe who are you cheering for someone in the World Series? So I don't really care, but um, the people around me I think are cheering for the Cubs. Yes. Oh, I don't have it back here. So anyway, yes, I know that that's the um, that's what's going on right now. And um, let's see. So yeah, we're gonna just get a few people walking, watching and um, we'll get started. So yeah, say hi, let me know where you're from and um, yeah. Passing out candy, yes, it's Halloween night. So probably, um, of course it's morning here, which means we've already kind of done our um, evening. So Yes, so Spaceships and Laser Beams has sewing uh, once every two weeks, and so that's what we are um, doing today. So um, we are making um, circle skirt, if you're just joining us. Um, we're going to make two. We're going to make a full circle skirt and a half circle skirt. So... Um, if you've never sewn a circle skirt, they are really fun um, thing to sew and a very easy sewing project. So um, I know you've got uh, people around and it is, yes, trick or treating if you're doing that. Um, so yeah, glad to be here tonight and um, we will be sewing in just a second. So I know some people who normally help me get things shared are, are um, busy this evening so I'm just trying to do a few quick um, shares and then um, we'll be able to get started. So let's see. To my page. Um, last Thursday, I don't know if you saw that um, I was making, um, I made a Christmas tree, which I know it was a little early to start Christmas projects, but um, I was um, I was at a hotel with my husband, and so I wanted to be able to 
um, have a project that I can do there. So I made, we made those and um, we got started. So, okay, well, I think we will um, get started and then I'll pop on again and um, do a couple more shares in a few minutes. So, um, okay, so like I said, we're gonna be making two circle skirts today. And one we're gonna be making from this um, woven fabric, which means it does not have any stretch. And I'm gonna put an elastic waistband on it, which means it will, um, this is a really easy way to do it, okay? So elastic waistband, which will be exposed. And so I'm kind of using this pretty light pink um, elastic and then with this skirt. And then the second one, and this is me for my daughter, the second one I'm gonna make for myself is um, made out of this really stretchy double stretch knit and I'm gonna make half circle skirt, which means it will be, um, it will be less full because it won't be a full circle. And, um, and then I'm gonna put on a waistband like this kind of like a yoga waistband that you can fold over and then it'll just be, this will be the waistband, okay? So that's what we're doing is making two skirts, one for myself, one for my daughter, both using the idea of circle skirts. And so when you're making a circle skirt, you actually have to kind of make up your own pattern because generally, um, generally you want it to fit your own waist. So there's a little bit of math involved and I've linked up above or below, um, depending on where you're watching this, to the blog post that walks you through all these steps. But I'm also gonna do that today, walk you through making these patterns, and it's just based on your measurements and what you wanna, um, and, and the look that you want. So we're gonna make up a pattern for myself and a pattern for my daughter, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna start by sewing the full circle skirt um, for uh, my daughter. So we're gonna go with that, and I've got kind of my notes here, so hopefully I can stay on track. And then also you can um, click through to the blog post, like I mentioned, to get more if you wanna walk through yourself. So um, in order to do this, you need two measurements. One is your waist measurement, and the second one is how long you want your skirt to be. So because this is a really like full skirt, I just probably want it to be, I'm thinking about knee length for my daughter. So I've measured those two lengths or widths and lengths on her and then we can start drawing the pattern. So um, actually I gotta make sure I got a calculator on here because we have to do some math. So I wanna be able to, all right, so get the calculator out on the computer and um, we'll go from there. So, all right, so you need, um, you need to take the waist measurement first and do some math with that. So um, Rose's waist around is 18.5, okay? So um, 18.5 inches is her waist, and then you're gonna add two inches to that number. So if I add two inches to 18.5, I have 20.5 inches. And you can do this in um, centimeters, but with the radius conversion, you might wanna switch it to inches um, but just use a con an online conversion because that's what I do when I need to switch between metric and um, inches. So, all right, so you take your waist, waist measurement plus two inches and then you're going to um, do a little math with it. And the reason we take the waist plus two is because we want the opening a little bit bigger than the waist, so one, it can slide over the hips, which are wider, and two, so it can gather a little bit, right, which is what makes it cute, okay? So we want to make it bigger than the actual waist for those reasons. And then you're going to use the number 6.28 to divide by, okay? So again, this is for inches. So if you're using, in, if you're using centimeters, you will either want to look up your own, the, your own metric tutori tutorial for making a circle skirt, which I'm sure is out there, or just convert your waist measurement to inches and then you can divide by 6.28, okay? So I'm going to punch in my numbers here on this calculator. So I decided I had 20 and a half inches, okay? That was what we had. And then um, 
we are going to do 6.28. So I'm going to divide by 6.28, and I'm going to hit equals. And I get 3.26, so I'm just going to round to 3.2, okay? And that is our first measurement that we need. So whatever your waist is, plus two, divided by the 6.28, you're gonna mark that number and you're gonna um, save it to yourself, okay? So there is that, we have the first, the waist measurement, okay? So 3.2 is gonna be the first measurement that we're gonna use. The second one that we're gonna use is the um, length. And when I measured Rose, you know, she's tiny. Actually, I really only want it to be about 10 inches long, which seems so super tiny, um, but that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do a 10 inch long skirt, and then we have our number of 3.2, which is gonna get us to make our pattern piece for the circle skirt, okay? So that's all we need. Those are the two measurements that we need, okay? So it's not too many, and I'm gonna, um, get out here the, um, I'm gonna get out my paper. So you need bigger than one sheet of paper. So you can either do a couple of things. One, you can um, tape several pieces of like typing paper together. And I've done that before. So just grab um, several pieces of typing paper and tape them together. Usually you need at least four and then um, or you can use like a roll of paper. This is just like Ikea roll of paper. Or you could also, um, you could also use uh, like tissue paper. Does that length include the hem? So um, you want to, whatever the length is, you want to add one inch for the top seam allowance and a very narrow hem. So my um, my 10 does include, when I measure on rows, that does include that extra. So, um, but, so make sure, yes, that you are adding the inch. And again, I have also, all this information is on that blog post if you click through. So, you'll be able to get all the information. Okay, so we're going to be measuring and marking on this. And this is kind of a big piece of paper, but we're going to start at one corner of the paper, any corner, and we're going to first do make the waist. Okay, so we said that we had 3.2 inches. So what you're going to do is you're going to start at one or 3. Point, yeah, 3.2. So I'm going to measure from one corner down, 3.2, and then I'm going to turn it and go to the other side. 3.2 and then what I need to do is I need to measure a several places in between there to make so I can make a curved line so I'm just you could use a ruler or this measuring tape but you want to just mark several places can you even see that I probably not um, what I did was I marked several places and then I'm just going to connect the curved line okay so you can see that now okay so we've got a curved line here, and that's going to be the waist, all right? And then, um, and again, we used our waist measurement plus the 2 inches divided by 6.28 to get 3.2. And then 3.2 is what we measured. Because again, this is only going to be one-fourth of the skirt. And then we're going to fold our fabric when we cut it, okay? So it all makes sense after you do it, but it is confusing along the way. All right, now to make our second part of the pattern we want to mark the 10 inches, okay? So that is gonna be the length. And again, you measure the length you want and you add one inch for seam allowance. We're gonna add a very narrow hem at the bottom and then you also need a little bit of allowance for um, sewing the elastic on the top. Okay, so I'm going around and marking the 10 inches, okay? ten inches. So just go around. I'm, I'm measuring from the waistband, not or from the waist marking, not from the corner. Okay, so you want to do that. 
All right, okay? So I've now I've marked the 10 inches from the waist down 10 inches, and then you just kind of connect those dots, and we have now one fourth of the skirt cut here. So I'm going to cut this piece out. And then we just have to cut it from fabric. All right, so I'll need this again when I make myself the skirt. Okay, and then you cut off the little top. All right, okay? So, here we go. All right, so this is, you don't have to be good at math. You can just follow, <laughs> you can just follow um, what I've done. So it can be very, very cool, um, from there. So just use my math. Don't worry about figuring out yourself. I promise it works. Just use your numbers instead of my numbers. Okay, so this is one fourth of the skirt. So now in order to cut the actual circle, we need to fold our fabric in um, such a way that we cut it out four sections. So I've kind of already started to cut it. So, um, all right, so here's my salvage edge and I have folded it up. I need to make sure it's it should be enough. Okay. So fold up once and then what we do is we fold it over again. Okay. So you want a double fold. Okay, so, and then you want your double fold big enough, so you just gotta check that you can line up this edge with the fold and this edge with a fold, and then have your fabric in the middle. Okay, so you see that? Sorry, I'm gonna put that down. Okay, so let's get more space here. So I folded my fabric over once, and I folded the fabric over twice so that. Um, I have two folds here and I have two folds here and I want to make sure there's not wrinkles under here. Okay, so then we just lay out the pattern and we cut it and when we unfold it, it's going to be a circle. So it's kind of really fun to see it just come out. So again, you're lining up both of these sides with the folded sides of the fabric. Okay. Um, yes, a, um, like a cardboard would be great for fabric or for pattern making, especially if you're going to use it. So this is kind of a one-time use pattern in a way, because if Rose gets any taller or wider, then I'll have to redo the pattern because both the waist and the length will change as she grows. All right, I'm going to cut it. So we're cutting out the bottom. Those of you just joining, we are making um, circle skirts today, which are skirts that are in the shape of a circle. And um, you have to do a little bit of math to figure out your shape of your pattern. But if you click into the blog post, which I've included for you um, in the description, then you'll get all the information. And I'm gonna make another one for myself in a little bit. So this is the first one. It's a kid size one. But look at when you open this up, it's a circle. Cute, right? So you, you can see the idea that this is what the skirt is gonna look like. So we just have to add the elastic and hem it and we're done. So super easy. All right, so we've cut out our circle skirt. The pattern that we created was just one fourth of the size. And then we use that with the folded fabric to create this circle. Now, for the elastic, you want to take the waist measurement plus one inch um, for sewing the elastic. So we, um, Rose's waist was 18.5 inches. And so I made this elastic is cut 19.5 inches. So I'm going to get my machines out here. 
and then I'll have to push them back again when we um, um, when we make the next one. But for now, we get this out. So, um, yeah, you can grab get all the details for the numbers. Um, in the blog post that I've linked in this description. So make sure you grab that, go click through and save that. Um, you can also just hit save or share on this video right now. And um, if you do that, then you'll be able to watch back from the beginning and get my full description for making this. I know if you're just coming in now, you're kind of in the middle and you didn't get all the details. But if you hit share, it will save it to your timeline and then you'll be able to watch back from the beginning and get my full description about measuring and making um, the waste, okay? Because that is important. So um, the way it works out, if you just do the math the way I described it, you'll get a skirt with a waist that is big enough to go on and pulls over. So you're actually only cutting or making the pattern one fourth of the waist, but the way you cut it, then it's big enough. So I'm going to finish both of the raw edges of my skirt, being the waist and the bottom, by just using my serger. And um, a serger is the same as, as an overlocker, it just depends on where you live in the world. So if you don't have a serger or an overlocker, you could just finish with a zigzag on your machine. And um, finishing the bottom keeps it from fraying um, later on, so we don't want as you're wearing the skirt and washing it, we don't want that fabric to fray. So we're just going to quick finish around. Okay, so we're going to go all the way around the skirt. And it is a lot of fabric all the way around. like forever. A couple things to think about when you're um, making a circle skirt. Uh, Melody, yes, the video is flipped. So my machines are normal, my hands are normal, it's just the video. Um, you want a fabric that lays nicely. So you don't want anything that's too stiff or it'll just kind of stick out and it won't lay down nicely. So um, you can use you can use both stretchy fabric for these skirts and um, fabric that's not stretchy. But again, you just want to make sure it's something that kind of lays nicely, um, so it doesn't just like stick straight out when you're wearing it. So um, thinner fabrics or stretchy fabrics usually work best for this. So. I'm also going to go around the waistband here. This won't, or the waist, this won't take me as long because it's smaller. But we're going to finish that before we sew the elastic on it. smaller I have to kind of um, just go little bits and then keep turning it again if you don't have a serger to finish this you could just use a zigzag um, on your regular machine or you can also fold an iron under a tiny like half inch thing so um, you could use tulle for this for sure. This would make it really cute, especially if you did multiple layers of tulle. I think it would be really, really cute. So um, the yoga waistband we'll get to next. So don't worry about that yet. I will work, that's still coming. All right, next up, we are going to sew um, the elastic, okay? Get the waistband ready. So what I'm gonna do is finish both sides of this elastic. So we want, because the elastic is going to show, we 
we want it to look pretty. Okay, so we have to make sure that we are finishing this properly because you are going to see the elastic on this skirt. You can do this many ways. You can put in a waistband. Actually, if you click to the blog post that I've linked, you'll see that I did a circle skirt with panels, meaning that um, I did even more math and then made 12, 12 sections around for the circle skirt and I added just a regular waistband. So there's lots of um, inspiration for you and lots of different ways that you could make this skirt. And I'm just showing you a few today and then you can check out even more um, over on my blog if you wanna check it out. So um, I'm sewing today on spaceships and laser beams, but that's not actually um, my Facebook page. It's just part of a joint um, group that I work with. So if you enjoy these sewing tutorials, I would love for you to pop over to my Facebook page, Naptime Creations, and give me a like there and then you'll also be able to see more sewing tutorials and actually Wednesday nights I sew on my every other week and then on Wednesday nights every week I do it I sew on my Facebook page so if you want to get more information about that or you want to make sure that you don't miss it I'd love for you to hop over and just like my page and then you'll be all um, set to go so um, the link to my Facebook is in the video, it says Emily from Naptime Creations. Actually, if you just click Naptime Creations, you should be able to, um, you, it should be highlighted and you should be able to um, click over to my Facebook page. Or if you just search on Facebook, Naptime Creations, it's right there. So, should be easy. All right, so here's the waistband. And what I did was I just folded over the seam allowances and I sewed them down. So this is what you'll see on the outside of your skirt and um, it should look nice. So the other thing is if you want to at this point, you can add a label. And so I'm gonna lay, add uh, my Naptime Creations label. Again, this is backwards, sorry. And I'm just gonna stitch it right on the back of the elastic and then that will be on the back of the skirt. Okay, so then you can um, label your fabric. I just got my labels off Etsy, I think, but there's lots of places and there's actually lots of ways that you can make your own labels too, out of ribbon or using vinyl. So if you want to get into using labels, but you're not sure how much you'll actually do it, you can start with some great um, homemade options first or just simpler options before you order. Because usually when you order, you have to buy like 500 or something crazy. So I have oodles of labels and um, I can probably sew for my kids for the next 20 years and still have enough. Of course by then I'll be tired of it and I'll want to um, get new labels. So okay, so there we go. We have um, put this on the back and now we're ready to put the elastic on the skirt. So because there's no seams on the skirt, there's no front, there's no back, it's all exactly the same. I'm just gonna make a part for the back. So what I wanna do on the skirt is I wanna, is I wanna mark four equal parts, okay? Just so we can make sure the elastic is spread evenly, all right? So I'm marking a front and a back, and then I'm gonna match those, and I'm gonna mark the sides as well. So I'm just gonna quarter, quarter the skirt, and then we'll do, do the same with the elastic, and then when we match those, we'll be able to make sure, because this, this is quite a bit smaller than this, so we need to stretch it to fit, okay? So the back is obviously the seam, and the front is going to be the opposite of that, and then if we, um, mark out the sides just using pins okay and so now we'll match those pins and be able to um, do that so we are making this is exposed elastic with me which means I'm just gonna lay it on top of the skirt and pin it and let me do um, let me pin a few places and then I'll show you um, up close what this looks like 
but I'm putting the wrong side of the elastic on the right side of the skirt so that we have right side of elastic, right side of skirt showing, all right? So the elastic is just gonna be laid on top and sewn on top, and then it will be, it will show because I'm using um, nice elastic. So you can buy wide elastic like this in many colors, and for a girl's skirt, you wanna use like an inch and a half or two inch wide, and if you're making a women's skirt like this, you'll actually want to use closer to three inch wide elastic. So this is my um, messy elastic drawer. Let me see if I can. I think I have some really wide stuff in here I can show you. Yeah. So um, if I were to make a woman's skirt with this, I would use this really wide three inch elastic because it makes a really cute um, wide waistband, holds in the tum tum, and um, is, is good. So when you want to make sure that you're using at least for, um, this is some purple that I have that I've used in the past too. So um, for a girl's skirt, you can use one and a half to two inch wide. And for a women's skirt, I would use two and a half, two to three inch wide elastic. And you can buy that at your local um, fabric store or you can order it online um, there's several options for um, getting wide elastic so um, here is I've just pinned the skirt or the elastic on the outside of the skirt and here's what the inside looks like okay so this is my edge and I finished it and we're just overlapping about maybe three-eighths or one centimeter overlapping the skirt and the elastic and then we're just gonna sew I'm just gonna sew along the bottom of the elastic to connect them. And I'm gonna have to stretch because you can see the skirt is not as, is bigger than the elastic. So as I sew, I'm gonna pull and stretch that together and um, then connect that. So let's hope, I'm nearing the end of a roll, a spool of thread and I'm hoping I can um, finish this project without having to, or finish at least this top part. So we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna widen my stitch to three on my machine. And then we're gonna make sure that the elastic and the, the skirt are overlapped. And we're just gonna sew along the bottom of the elastic, making sure, going slowly, making sure we're stretching the elastic and that we're catching the skirt, okay? So you wanna stretch and sew and make sure that they stay overlapped so you can catch it. And I put my pins in the wrong direction so they're um, backwards in here. All right, so I'm stretching the elastic and then sewing along the top of the skirt and just stretching as I go. And keeping just you know only I just sew a couple inches and then rearrange make sure everything is stretched and laid properly make sure I'm not catching the other side of the skirt but actually I mean once you've made one or two of these you and you cut out a bunch you could sew you know like three or four of these skirts in an hour it would not take long because really all you're doing is adding this elastic on the top, which goes pretty quickly, and then just hem, adding a quick little hem. So um, it's not difficult, it's just a couple steps, one, especially once you've, um, if you've done the math to figure out the pattern and you're making several in the same size. Of course, which if you're making new sizes, then you have to make new patterns um, for each one, which takes a bit more time, but once you've done it a couple times, it just gets easier and easier. So, all right, so let's take a look. All right, so there's the skirt, super cute, right? Um, and super easy, okay? So there is the skirt, we've added 
the tag on the back and here you can see up close how it's just the elastic I sewed right on the elastic and then here's what the inside looks like so this is why you want to make sure that you at least zigzag or fold over this top a little bit because you do just see the edge and if this is raw fabric it will fray when you wash it and you don't want that so there we go all right super simple and we're going to um, for the hem because this is a circle and if I folded it over wide it would cause issues we're just gonna fold over a narrow 1 4th inch hem okay so I'm just gonna buzz around and do a quick tiny fold over hem okay you could also do a rolled hem or um, I mean really just any sort of thin hem is what you want to do on this so but you do want to finish so finish the edge so just a really thin um, hem around and if you don't have a serger like you know how I surged around the bottom you again could fold over just like a fourth inch and then fold over another fourth inch to make a very narrow hem that will be enclosed and it won't fray so just zipping around the bottom and this is such a fun twirly skirt because it's so full you can spin and if you were you know if your daughter was taking a dance class or something and someone mentioned making this in tulle which would be very cute you could wear it over leggings or you could do like two or three layers of tulle which would be really cute so it does make a very full skirt and for a tiny skirt like this you can pretty much use any fabric when you're making a women's skirt because it's going to be longer than 10 inches you do need to make sure you have pretty wide fabric generally you want fabric that's at least um, 60 inches wide so that it um, you know you have enough to make the make it long I know a 10 inch skirt on me would look pretty short so um, yes yes the tool you could put under a dress as like a um, crinoline or whatever you want to call that but you could add that under and it would just add some poof and it would be really cute so you can add a waistband um, to this instead of adding the elastic and if you add a waistband then you would just thread elastic through like you normally would so if you're making a waistband you would need to cut the waistband the same as your opening and then make the elastic smaller together so um, I gave instructions for that in my photo tutorial which is on my blog so you can click through in the description of this video to find that blog post which gives you um, another alternative for making a circle skirt and that's for using multiple colors and making it a paneled circle skirt so as soon as I finish this one I'm going to push the machines out of the way and show you how to make a half circle skirt and you can make this again small or large I'm going to make it for myself but I could just make it smaller and make it for my daughter so essentially what you're doing when you make a half circle skirt is instead of cutting um, a full circle you're only cutting a half circle so it um, just gets a little it makes it a little less full and a little less likely to um, like you know blow <laughs> these skirts are very full so and if it is short then you could have where if you get some winds you know you might have quite a moment going on but for a little girl I mean my daughter wears like legging shorts under everything so it doesn't really matter if the skirt blows up or not and I am gonna be just finishing this thread which is so awesome I've got to change different thread for the other skirt anyway all right so there we go all finished okay so there's just the narrow hem okay so we just want it folded under enough that we don't see it and there we go so 
Let's see if Rose can come and uh, model this for us. Hey, Rose, can you come back here for a minute? Can you try on this skirt? Can you try on this skirt for Mommy? All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's come over here. Okay, it's not, it's going to look with um, your pajamas. It will look very interesting, but here. Okay. All right. Step in. It's mine. Yeah. It's mine. Very cute. Okay. So. There is, you want to turn around? Do do. Is uh, this. Or, so 10 inches seemed really, really short, but actually it's all the way to her knees. So we need to find a shirt that matches this pattern. Okay, turn around. Hey, okay. So waistband, side, you got the model going on. And there's your simple skirt. So do you want to leave it on? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Woo! All right, so that is um, skirt um, skirt number one using um, a full circle. So you could make that in big, and you know have it for um, um, you know for an adult. I've made myself one out of like a really thin wool and put that wide elastic on and it was a super cute winter skirt you know it's just below the knee very full it's a really it looks really great so again make sure you're not using fabric that's too stiff especially if you're making it for yourself because you don't want your hips to look any bigger than they are and because it's so full if it is poofy too poofy it's it's not a great look so make sure you have flowing drapey fabric something with that's thinner that has a good drape is is great for especially when you're making it for yourself so i'm going to try making one out of knit fabric for myself and this will be just as easy and just as quick and we're going to even just use knit fabric and make a fold over yoga waistband so this is going to be really simple because the waistband is just going to be sewed on once then you fold it over done okay so um, to get started, I need some different measurements because I'm bigger than my daughter. So, um, for myself, on this one, instead of, if I was making it and using elastic, I would measure kind of my high waist because that's where I'd want my skirt to um, but because this is going to be a fold over waistband, I want the, I want to sit more on my hips, okay? So I've measured around my kind of high hip, and that is 35 inches, okay? So we're gonna do the same math, and then we're gonna add two inches to that. So we have 37. Oh, I put the, I need the calculator back, because <laughs> um, I'm not gonna do this math on paper. So, um, all right, so you take your hip or your waist measurement, and you add the two inches to it. And we're gonna make the same, um, sort of pattern, um, but we're going to only cut, we're only going to fold the fabric once instead of folding the fabric twice, which will make a half circle. Okay, let's see, calculator, and I said hips plus two inches was 35 plus two inches, so that's 37. So we have 37. And then I said our number to divide by was um, 6.28. So 6.28 equals, oh, that's not going to get us enough. Sorry. Okay. On the half circle, sorry, because we're only going to cut cut it folded once, we want to make sure the waist part is big enough. We actually, we don't want to cut 6.28, we want to do um, half of that, so to make it bigger, so we got it, we have to do um, 3.14. So normally when you're just, if you're finding the radius of a circle, 
you would divide by pi. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, here we go. All right, so I said 35 plus 2 is 37 divided by 3.14. Again, I'm sure, so that's 11.7. Okay, so I'm going to mark that down. 11.7. And then um, when I measured, I measured myself and I want it to be about 20 inches, um, 20 inches long, okay? All right, so we can put this back away now that I've done the math. All right, so let's see if we can lay out the fabric. I'm trying to just, because I'm going back and forth between sewing and cutting here, I'm trying to cut and sew on this one um, table today. So, okay, so here's the selvage edge of this very stretchy knit, and here's the corner. Oh, wait, I don't want to cut. I want to make a pattern. All right. Not gonna have that snack now, we'll have it later. Yep, later. Okay, so, my um, paper is so rolly. Um, we wanted we divided only by 3.14 instead of 6.28 because when we cut this, we're only going to cut this folded once, and so we want the waistband to be big enough. On the other one, we had the fabric folded twice, so it was actually one fourth of it. This time, we only want it to be about one half of it. Okay. So, um, at least the waist part is only one half. So 11.7. So I need to make my mark down. My inner circle will be much bigger this time. Okay? So mark from the corner. See, I've got, so this is in the corner of the paper. You can start at any corner and I'm just going around and putting marks. And I know it's hard for you to see the marks, but when I get, I'll connect these in a minute and then you'll be able to see them. Okay, so then you take your marker and you just kind of connect between, okay? So that will be half of my waist, or my hip, sorry. Um, so it's going to be big, one, because it's a hip opening, and two, because this is just going to be, we're just going to do this folded in half, so this won't be a circle this big, it'll just be, you know, double this, okay? So, and then, from there, you can, I can see right now that this is not going to be big enough, so I'm going to have to add on paper, because of, so I want it to be 20 inches, so I start those 20 inches from the waist line, okay? So, uh, not enough space. I'm gonna get rid of this roll of paper here. So I'm gonna mark that 120, and then I'm gonna cut this off so you can see what I'm doing, and so I have more space. Okay, so I've marked one, 20, and just you can have a good old time watching me wrestle this paper. And there's another 20, and another 20, and then we're going to run out of paper, which means we've got to tape more on. Okay, so I this next 20 would be off the paper. Okay, so that means. I've got to add, I have to add paper to my, not enough space, paper to my thing here. So let's see if I have tape in here. So I'm just going to um, add some paper here to the edge. Uh, I would suggest 
doing this on the floor so that you can just have loads of space and not worry about like this where it's just everywhere. But for this, I'll try to do it up here so you can see it. What? Hi. Oh, your skirt looks so pretty, doesn't it? Thank you. Mommy's making one for me, and then we can um, take a picture together, okay? Uh, that sound good? I oh, I have to make this. I'm just making the... Oh, my tail. Oh, mommy, mommy. Yeah, I'm making one for me, too. when you're making in the women's size because your measurements are just that much bigger. You I'm not making out of that one, Rose. You really are dealing with a lot more paper. And I'm just trying to piece this together because I'm gonna, you know, throw it away as soon as I'm done. So, yeah, and more arms would be great for this. Okay, so I think I've got my paper big enough. And I'm measuring 20. And, oh boy. No, go out and do that. Somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere else, trumpet girl. Okay. Oh, did I not even make this long enough? Oh, it's a, I'm going to have to add a little bit on the end. Okay, I'm going to just um, cut this because I am, I need to make it smaller. I need to get rid of some of this bulk. So, all right, so I'm connecting my dots now around. And this curly paper is just awesome to work with. And then I, I, I did even short myself a little bit on the paper. So watch me improvise. Let's see. So we're going to cut the waist. I just need to get this into the fabric so it can chill out. Watch me go crazy with the paper. All right. So... Now cutting the bottom. All right, let's try rolling the paper. The suggestion was rolling it back onto itself. Chalk the circle right on the material. Barb, that is an awesome idea. I probably should have just done that instead of this out of control paper circle that I've got going on. But for now, this is what I've got, all right? Okay, so let's see if we can do it. I don't know if I can fit it here or not. All right, so get my paper or get my fabric. And it's folded in half. And we're just gonna line up the corner. So we're lining up the sides and it's big enough. And on this, so when you're making um, the half circle, you are going to have um, pins, and you can see the pins. pins, pins, pins right there. Um, you're gonna have a seam, a side seam, or a back seam to um, to sew. It won't. This is not gonna turn out to be a full circle when I open up my paper. Okay, it's only a half circle. because of how we how we did this one. Okay? So, again another variation. 
So we'll just line this up with the side. Cut this on the floor, okay? Don't, don't do like me on this is this table is not big enough for this size skirt. So I'm just trying to improvise so you guys can see what I'm doing. Remind me that I just unplugged my sewing machine when it doesn't work in five minutes. <laughs> so I'll be like, why doesn't this turn on? Oh wait, I bumped it and it unplugged. Okay, and I short myself on this side of the pattern, which is why we're not quite meeting up at the other side. So we're just, we're just going with it. All right, so I'm just gonna try to cut this, and I needed to add an inch because my, um, my paper wasn't long enough in this corner. This is definitely a floor, or unless you are blessed to have like a huge workspace, this is a project that I would definitely lay out on the floor. So I have plenty of space to do it. Um, for the women's skirt, you'll need at least a yard and a half of 60 wide fabric, which is what I have here, a yard and a half of 60 wide fabric. and. Um, all right, so you make this skirt according to your waist and um, yeah, plus size would totally work because you can cut it however you want. And if this wasn't big enough, if your fabric wasn't big enough, you can just cut two of these and piece them together. So the, thing, the great thing about this is it can work for any size because you're making a pattern that fits you exactly. Don't use my dimensions, use your dimensions and um, it will be fine. So you're making this to fit you, you're not making it to fit me, you're not making it to fit someone else. So uh, <laughs> yeah, Jessica, if I wasn't on doing this for you guys right now, I might have ripped that paper and thrown it away. But anyway, you guys get to see the real me and I'm trying to make this work for you. All right, so the skirt we cut, this is um, hip, my hip measurements plus the two inches divided by six point, or 3.14. This time we only did half, um, we just did um, divided by pi. 3.1 floor and then I wanted it about 20 inches. So when I go from my hip to just at my knee, that will be, um, and I, I don't know how I'm going to hem this. So we'll have to see. Um, and then to make the waistband, um, I actually measured my hips, so the 35, and I subtracted one inch. So I actually cut this 34 inches long, and I cut it 12 inches high, okay? Because I'm going to fold it in half to sew it on, and then I want to be able to fold it in half again to make the waistband. So that's about the size I thought, okay? so. 12 inches by one inch smaller than your waist or your hips because we want it to be nice and snug and hold the skirt up, okay? We don't want your skirt falling down. All right, so let's get the machines back out and see if we can get started. So um, I, like I said, I'm not actually gonna hem this, so I'm not gonna use this sewing machine. Um, I have to think about, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do for the hem, and I've read that actually you should let it hang when you're using this sort of stretchy knit, let it hang for the day um, to, to see, to even out the, the thing. So I won't, I'm not going to have it anyway, because I'll hang it up and see how it thinks. But I can still try it on, and we'll do the waistband, and then you can um, still see how it looks. So first thing is... We have a skirt that looks like this, okay? Here is the uh, waist hip opening and then the skirt goes around, okay? So I want to, with right sides together, I wanna sew up that side seam, okay? Or you can put it in the back, wherever you want your seam to be. I'll probably put mine in the back, okay? 
So then we'll have a skirt that will, um, here will be the top and there will be the bottom. All right, so I'm first gonna sew up the, let's see if I can move this a little closer for you. All right, so we're gonna sew up that side seam with the right sides together. And then we'll add the waistband and then we'll be done until I think about the hem. So I'll probably add some extra instructions to my circle skirt blog post once I figure out the hem and I'll also add some instructions for the yoga waistband since that's not really in the original blog post. But the original blog post does give you the information and the numbers that you need to make one of these. So if you didn't write down as I was saying it, you can definitely go get the numbers to do the math on that blog post. So that will get you started. You can also, of course, come back and watch this video anytime. If you save it to your timeline by hitting the share button, then it'll be there. It'll also be on the Spaceships and Laser Beams page at least for a ne the next month or so. And then I also will be uploading it to my YouTube channel. So if you want to follow me on YouTube, you can come back and watch the video um, as well. So serger, overlock, same thing. Yep, so um, this is a, I call it a serger, because I'm from the US, but um, an overlocker is the same, same machine. All right, so now our skirt is taking a little bit more shape, where we have um, the top is here, and then there will be, there's the bottom, okay? So you can see right now that it's not near as full as the one that I made for rows that was the full circle. So this is a more slim skirt, but still has movement and fullness. So I wanna turn this to the right side because to sew the waistband, we're gonna do right sides together. And um, I also wanna make the waistband in a circle. So I'm gonna open it up. And again, with right sides together, I'm gonna show sew the short ends of the waistband. Okay, and again, my waistband was 12 inches tall. Times one inch smaller than my hips. Because I want it to fit nice and snug. Don't want my skirt falling down. So we want it to be nice and snug. So I've made this where this, I mean, and it's so stretchy that it doesn't matter um, from there. So yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we're gonna fold this in half. Fold this in half with the right side out because that's what we wanna show on our waistband. Okay, and then just kind of shake it to smooth. Okay, so there is the waistband, all right? And now we need to pin that to the top of the skirt and then we're gonna be finished. So, um, super easy. So we're gonna match the um, seam of the waistband with the back seam on the skirt. But I also want to mark, like I did on the small one, I want to mark the other um, quarters so that I have four even places to um, pin as I'm working around the skirt. So I've just marked the half and then we'll mark the quarters on the sides like this. And then we're gonna mark the same thing on the skirt Okay, so there's the back seam, and then the other half directly opposite is that one, and then we'll match that seam with that pin, and then mark the other two sides. So now we have it quartered, and we can match those quarter for pinning, okay? And on this one, 
um, we're going to do right sides together, but this waistband is two layers thick, okay? Two layers thick. So we're going to match, so we're actually pinning three layers together. Two waistband layers and, oops, two waistband layers and one layer of skirt. All right, so those are the seams together. And then we go across from the seams and we can match the other side to think about how I wanna pin this, how I'm gonna, which side should I put my pins on? I'm probably gonna sew on the inside of this. All right, and then we're going and we're matching this. We're just matching those four pins, okay? And then we will have to stretch and sew a little bit, but it's a lot easier if you have these four places marked. Okay, it just now I know on these places that those are aligned. Okay, so we have pinned the skirt. You can see how the waistband is gonna fold up there, okay? And then we're going to sew around and we have to stretch the skirt. You can see this is the skirt. It's bigger than the waistband. So I have to make sure that I stretch it as I sew it so that it becomes the same width. Okay? So let's sew on the waistband. Starting in the back. And we're that we stretch, but you don't really want to stretch the waistband as tight as possible. I'm sorry, stretching the waistband, not stretching the skirt. The skirt is already big. Let's think about what I'm saying here. So, and I want to also want to make sure that I'm catching all three layers together. Okay, so we have again two layers of waistband and one layer of skirt that we're stretching and sewing. All right, so just, I just go a few inches and I make sure everything is lined up. I'm just cutting a bit of a seam allowance off, maybe a fourth inch or a little bit less than a centimeter. Not a large, not a large seam allowance because um, it's not really going to affect the fit on this, depending on, we just um, want together. Okay, stretch. And so, this is a pretty heavy knit, but I really liked the way it hung, so I'm hoping that it won't be too heavy, but that it will have a nice crash. I need more space. Um, I think it will have nice strength. And I will try it on for you, even unhemmed. Alright, I just dropped my scissors, so. Alright, so again, like I said, I don't think I'm going to hem this because one... I'm going to, there it is, okay? One, I'm going to um, let it hang for a day. And I want to make sure that this isn't, you know, just upon initial look, the bottom looks pretty straight. Um, um, but I just want to double check before I, and I think what I would do is um, like up full under just a half inch and use a double needle. Um, you can do it well for using a double needle in the um, in the video description. So okay, so here we go. So we're gonna put this on and then we'll fold over the waistband again. And this is then what I call the yoga waistband when you have the double flip over. Okay. So I'm going to uh, just step to the side and I'll put this on and then I'll show you what it looks like. So hopefully um, it fits and 
should be, if we did our, our map correct, and it's big enough to stay up. I guess that's my only concern is that it's not too loose. And as I'm putting this on, it is a bit on the loose side, but I'm not sure if that's just because my fabric is so heavy. So let's see. Tuck in my tank top, and then you can see. So you have to, you might have to play around with how um, tight you make your waistband. But okay, so let's turn this a little bit. Rose, you want to come show your skirt one more time? All right, so here is the skirt. We've got the waistband up and the waistband folded down. Okay, well, I'll get you a snack in a minute. And um, yeah, so I think it has a really good potential. And I've never made one with a waistband like this before. So based on the fit, I would say it's a little bit loose. So I would say making your waistband even a little bit smaller would be a good idea. So I subtracted one inch to make this waistband and I would probably suggest subtracting two or three inches if you were making this. So um, anyway, I'll write that into the blog post, but that's my suggestion just based on um, today. So Rose, come here, come on the chair one thing. One. So here's again the full, cir <laughs> the full circle skirt. Um, and then here is the half circle, and you can see how it's just not quite as full as Rose's is more full, okay? And then such a comfortable waistband, and I might take it in a little bit in the back. So anyway, and then I'll hem it, and I'll have a cute new skirt to wear. So there is um, two circle skirts done two different ways, this one with the elastic waistband, and the full circle, and then this one with the half circle and the yoga waistband. So, so simple, not so hard. You just have to wrestle your paper. And um, uh, Cindy, the waistband does not have to be finished because, here, so we sewed, we just sewed this, right? We sewed the waistband to the skirt. Oh, stop, stop, stop. We sewed the waistband to the skirt and the top is a fold. So there's now no more edges to finish. It's just a fold over like this. Okay, so easy to do. Uh, the waistband, I cut 12 inches tall and then the direction of stretch, I would cut it three inches smaller than your hips. So my hips were 35 and I cut it 34 and it's loose. I wish it was, a, I wish it was tighter because um, I would want it to, I just wish it was snugger and I'll have to take it in so it doesn't fall off. So I would cut it 12 inches high and I would cut it instead of cutting 35, which is my measurement, I would cut it 32. So um, 12 inches by, I would say two or three inches less. So thanks Autumn for putting it up there. So um, yeah, so just you just wanna make sure it's snug and not too big. <coughs> on your waist. So there you go. All set. And um, we'll be back Wednesday night over at um, Naptime Creations Facebook page. If you want to join us there for another sewing tutorial, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but if you want to leave any suggestions, you can go ahead and put those in the, um, you can put those in the comments if you'd like to see me sew one of my patterns or tutorials that you can find on my blog. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great night and happy Halloween to those of you who are celebrating today. And um, I hope you have a great week. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye.